Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove refit from your Mac computer. As you can see, and if you watched one of my previous videos, you'll see how I installed this on the Mac. You have Mac OS X, you have Ubuntu Linux 10.4, and Windows 7. I'm going to show you how to remove this from your computer and restore your computer back to its original OS 10 only basis. So what you need to do is log into OS 10. Okay, we're booted into OS 10, and there's just a couple of simple things that you need to do to remove refit from the computer. What you need to do is you need to go into your hard drive, your Mac hard drive, and you'll notice that you have an EFI folder here, right on, right out of the gate here. You have applications and then EFI folder, library system, and whatnot. What you want to do is take this EFI folder and drag it into the trash. Okay? Now, the only other thing that you need to do is you need to go into your library folder here. Same place we were before, where the in the MacBook hard drive right under Applications, Library, and you want to scroll down to Startup Items. It's all one word, Startup Items. And right here is Refit Blesser. What you need to do is to do the same thing you did with the, R, or with the EFI folder and drag Refit Blesser into the trash. Now it's going to ask you for your password to make the changes, so I'm going to put that in right now. All right, that's in the trash now, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the trash. And then I'm going to reboot the computer, and everything should just reboot back into OS X. All right, trash emptied. Now I'm going to restart the computer. boots right into OS 10. No more refit. All gone. All right, we're booted back into OS 10, and you'll notice that the Windows disk is still there. The Linux disk is still there as well, the partitions. So if you want to remove the partitions, what you need to do is you need to go to Disk Utility, And then you need to select your, your system hard drive and go over to partition. Okay. Now you'll notice here the top partition is the MacBook partition and it's almost all taken up. The second partition here says disk OS3. That is the Linux partition. And then the bottom partition is Windows 7. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the bottom two partitions and add them back to the MacBook partition. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to select the Linux partition and then I'm going to go to the minus sign down here and it's going to delete the partition and erase the data on it. So I'm going to do that right now. It comes up with a uh, drop down screen. It says, are you sure you want to remove the partition disk OS 3. This partition will be erased. These partitions will not be erased, the MacBook and the Windows 7. So we're going to remove that one. And there we go, gone. Now we're going to do the same thing with the Windows partition. So we're going to grab that 
and do the exact same thing. Same drop down menu, it says, are you sure you want to remove partition, the partition window seven? We're gonna do that. Gone. Now what we wanna do is we want to take the MacBook partition and increase the size on it. Now we're left with just the MacBook partition and the size is 129.58 gigabytes. We're gonna change that. The entire uh, disk size here is 250.06. So we're actually gonna put that number in here, 250.06. And there we go. MacBook partition takes up the entire thing again. It actually turns out to be 249.72, so there's less than a gigabyte of information that can't be used because it's used for system and stuff like that. So I'm gonna hit apply and it's gonna resize my MacBook partition. It says, I get a drop down menu here. It says, are you sure you want to partition the disk? Blah, 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 blah. Partitioning this disk will change one of the partitions. No partitions will be erased. Yes, of course I wanna do that. So hit partition and there we go. So now the MacBook OS 10 takes up the entire disk drive, no more Windows 7, no more Linux Ubuntu, and I have a lot more free space in my Mac partition, 140 gigs in this case. So that's how you remove refit from your MacBook if you decide that you no longer want to dual or triple boot your machine. And that pretty much does it. So I'll see you in the next video.